I'm really excited today because the new AI safety index, after a ton of work, is, is finally done. And the results are really exciting. The control problem is simply the problem that if we build AI that can do everything better than us, we've basically not built just a new technology, but a new species that can make robot factories, that can make new robot factories. And as Alan Turing said already in 1951, you know, the default outcome of that is that the machines take control, just like we humans have taken control over the other animals on this planet. We have these seven companies who all have as a stated goal to build machines that can outthink us humans in every way, which would be the biggest uh, change for humanity in its history. And they're all saying, oh, well, safety, we got it. What the safety index does is take a hard look at the actual facts and see if they're just talking the talk or whether they're actually walking the walk. The AI safety index is like a scorecard for companies trying to build powerful AI, where a massive amount of information is first gathered about what they actually do and have done. And then a bunch of independent experts review this and assign letter grades to them. At the high level, they all got very bad grades, uh, Cs and Ds and Fs, uh, uh, particularly in the category of uh, how you, they can control the AGI and the superintelligence that, that they're trying to build, where almost all of them got Fs and no, nobody got a passing grade. The most striking is having some kind of plan for how the AGI and superintelligence that they're all saying they want to build is actually going to stay under control. The reviewers looked at whatever plans or, or ideas the companies had posted and written about, and nobody got a passing grade. And we saw, for example, among the, the top three rated, an interesting change. Last year, it was Anthropic first, Google DeepMind second, OpenAI third, and this time um, DeepMind actually got overtaken. A key reason why uh, DeepMind fell down was because OpenAI put a big effort into transparency. They publicly posted their whistleblowing policy that they have now and shared a bunch of information with the index. Uh, Google DeepMind has so far refused to do both of those. The obvious takeaway from this is that self-governance just doesn't work. You know, you can't let the fox guard the hen house. This shows that you really need the governments to step in and say, here are the safety standards, these are binding rules, and you can't just voluntarily opt out of them. The first thing companies should do to improve their uh, safety performance is read very carefully the section about their company in this report. And the goal of this index is not to shame companies, but to incentivize the people in the companies who are pushing for more safety work and empower them against the people in the same companies who maybe think safety is stupid. This is by far the most comprehensive assessment of what the companies are actually doing on safety. It's also quite unique in that it's not run by the companies. It's truly independent, just like any kind of grading effort has to be.